Welcome to third round coverage of the NCAA Tournament on CBS Sports. Today's game is between the Eastern Illinois Panthers and the Kansas Jayhawks. And of course, Phil, our starting five. If two excellent players at the point guard position, they usually do a great job of getting your teammates involved. Something we should definitely keep an eye on, Gus. When we get going here today, these will be the keys that each team will be paying special attention. And after all that anticipation, we're underway. They work the perimeter. Shots up. Inside. He's a good inside presence who can step out to the perimeter and knock it down. I'll tell you guys, when you have guys who can score down in the box and also step out and convert, what do you do defensively? You can really cause problems in the matchup for the D. Now with the ball screen. And we'll head back down to the other end. How about a second time? Check out this layup. How about the concentration at the 10? The spike being banged in the paint. McGrew handles the pass. Fired. Off the mark. Oh, competitive Gus. Both teams are looking to get something going here. In the paint. Down the lane. Finger roll. So easy. Good job defensively. Mosley handles the feed. He missed it. Dominating the glass. Out on the left wing. Jump shot. And he can't get the bounce. The Jayhawks are really controlling the tempo. Doing a nice job of controlling the speed of the game, Gus. They're really dialed in here, and Coach has got to enjoy it. Now on the run. How about that elevation? Four minutes left on the game clock. Dump it inside. Can't get it to go. Kept alive. Offensive rebound. No. Kept alive, though. Offensive rebound. Way out on the right wing. In the lane. Shots off. Snatches the board. Watts receives the pass. Three minutes left on the game clock. Squared up on the catch. That is puppies in order. The Panthers working, changing it up against the zone. And that's what makes them tough to defend. They understand how to take advantage of openings. Brandon receives the ball. He goes for three. No luck from downtown. Call for the foul. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just got to know when to back off. Raph, these two teams in the first half of this tournament game have shown that they definitely belong. 
it's obvious to me that neither one is ready to go home. Both teams are competing well right now. The goal at this point in the game is to remain close. You don't want to fall too far behind. These teams are demonstrating that this one may go down to the wire. First personal foul. He crashed in on the layup and gets the foul. He sacrificed it for the glove. He knew he was going to get fouled, but he went strong to the tip. At the free throw line opportunity. Solid shooter. Long lead pass. And he lays it up and in. Down in the low block. Up and in. Ha ha! We are at the two minute mark on the wing. Can't escape the pressure. The young guy has some trouble with that trap. They work it around the perimeter. Shots up. Oh! How about that play? They went through the high post. Whenever you're attacking the zone or man D, it's key to get the ball in the center of the floor, and in particular, to the high post. In the lane. Off the mark. Look for the outlet. Heat check time from long range. And no! Transition! Around a minute remaining. Now this is what you call a tough place to play. The crowd is completely behind their team. Ball's going to stay here. You know, Raph, this guy has really elevated his game. He's been excellent, Gus. He seemed really focused coming into this game, and he's shining. Has almost single-handedly put his team in a position to win this game. He looks for three. Comes up empty from deep. The Jayhawks are doing a terrific job of controlling the game. Really done a great job establishing a good pace. A pace that suits their strengths as a team. The senior. He can put up points and he can move the ball. This kid is a very difficult guy to guard. He is capable of getting off as well as creating for others. I really enjoy watching him. In the post. In the lane. He missed it. And he can't get them out. Pulls it in. On the left side. Dials up a long-range shot. He can't get it to go. Now, looking to attack. Can't connect from the three-point line. The first half is in the books. The road to the final four is up next. And a quick look at the team's stats for both teams. Bill, what's going through these young guys' minds now? Here they are. They've worked all season long just to get to the NCAA tournament, and we've got a half behind us and a half to go, and somebody's got to go. What a shame, Gus. These teams are playing so well, and they're so well matched. I think it's going to come down to free throws, and who can knock them down? Both teams looking to get in a, a bit of a rhythm here. Way out on the right wing. He tries the three. And he hits the three. The Panthers got some good ball reversal. Coach has to be happy with the offensive execution. Some great swing passes, ball reversal, getting them the open looks. Exactly what they want right now, Gus. Looking for the bomb. Outside, Jay won't go. It's all about shot selection, Gus. It's so important to take good shots. And not necessarily the shot the defense wants you to take. Brandon gets the pass. And it goes. What a big time shot. Brandon. 
Mosley handles the pass. How about this kid, huh? Out on the left wing. He fires away. It's no good. Pushes it. Now in transition. Now they work it around the perimeter. Foul on the play. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. To the line. No, not this time. Robinson takes the feed. Four minutes left on the game clock. On the baseline. Shots off. Offensive rebound. Ah, he got it up and in. Now, he's a pure shooter. You can't give him any space. I just enjoy watching this guy. Just extraordinary at shooting the hoop. And they burn a timeout. We'll have more NCAA basketball coverage in a moment. Top of the key. Stolen ball. Watts handles the feed. Jump shot. And it. Top of the circle. And he buries the three. We're at the three-minute mark. It's a call for the foul. It's a team effort across the board so far today, Coach. Yes, it makes things really difficult for the defense when multiple players are contributing at the offensive end. I doubt they were prepared for this. It's still close here in the second half. This one has really been a good ball game from the start, and it looks like it could remain that way. God, this is a close one, Gus. I think the last few possessions are going to dictate who moves on and who goes home. Strong gets the ball. Shot clock shows 10. Brandon handles the feed. We are at the two-minute mark. And he can't hit the shot. On the right side. Fires. He can't get the bucket to fall. He gets that one to fall. Well, Coach Raftery, it looks like we're in for a great finish. Gus, who's going to make the game-changing play? I love these games. Both teams are but one turnover, one missed free throw, and one missed shot away from losing this game. And leaves it in. Right, they've got him right where they want him. Out on the way. He gets the shot to fall. Weather takes the pass. Around a minute remaining. Now with the ball screen. Dagger. Brandon. 
Watts gets the pass. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. McGrew on the left side. He tries the three. Nails it from downtown. And after the timeout, we're all set to pick things up. Long pass down court. He throws it up from downtown. No good from three-point range. Well, Bill, it looks like they're going to spend a little time fouling right here. They're trying to stretch it out. Thus, I think they'll keep fouling until they're back into this game. And that stops the clock again. And of course, another foul as they try to remain close. Not much else they can do. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Good strategy. Offensively, they'll set up from the sideline. And the foul will stop the clock momentarily. They'll throw this one in from the side. I think that's it for him, Coach. I think that's the last foul of the night. I'm sure he didn't want things to end this way. Boy, that hurts him. When he gets to the line, he knocks it down. He values these looks, Gus. A good opportunity to put points on the board. Goodman takes the feed. And we're back ready to get things going again after the timeout. Watts receives the pass. Bill, I think the better team won. It's heartbreaking for the other side, but that's the way it goes. Five and advance is the name of the game. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all of the little intangibles we consistently talk about. And that was the difference in this game. Well, folks, that concludes our coverage of NCAA basketball on CBS Sports. I'm Gus Johnson for Bill Raftery. Good night. <laughs>